No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. Big Stock, videos and images for everyone. Color Grading Central, professional color grading with Color Finale. Shutterstock, where ideas take shape. Hey everybody, we're here uh, with PNS Technic. Uh, this is Andreas, and he's going to talk to us about their new anamorphic lens. Um, when did you guys develop this? And uh, look, tell me about it. Okay, so uh, PNS is proud to present uh, the new or uh, the latest lens, uh, anamorphic, anamorphic uh, zoom, which covers a sensor uh, 16 by 9, which is pretty uh, big demand on the market. So we have at the end a zoom lens covering the focal length 35 by 70 millimeters as uh, I told you for a 16 by 9 sensor that means we have uh, or we cover the sensor with a squeeze factor by 1.45 and um, have a front anamorphic element which is uh, very important uh, when we talk about keeping the anamorphic flare Talking about a factor 2.0, that means that you have a picture squeezed by a factor of 2 instead of what we are doing, uh, 1.45. 1, 1 that means 16 by 9 itself is a kind of widescreen format that does not need anymore to be squeezed two times. That means we squeeze then with a factor 1.45 to be in a position not to lose too much resolution at the end. So, in a way, it's a kind of uh, optimization to use the sensor the best way uh, you can. But that is why we went to a nearly 1.5 factor to have a compromise between resolution loss on the one hand side and on the other side, uh, the, uh, keeping the atmosphere in the, in the picture, what you expect from an anamorph anamorphic picture. Nice, it seems that anamorphic is like really popular right now. Um, what do you think you can attribute that to? And is it just because of all the people who don't own an Alexa? Yes, of course, uh, there are a lot of people, uh, especially also uh, uh, people wanting to start uh, shooting anamorphic, maybe have no idea or didn't work uh, so far with anamorph anamorphic lenses. That is the market we would like to target, yes. And uh, I think uh, we, you see the high-end uh, anamorphic lenses uh, built by Cook, for example, over there, or Zeiss. Uh, they cover this high-end uh, 4x3 Alexa market. Well, Andreas, thank you so much for showing us the uh, new lenses, and we're stoked about them. Thank you very much.